everybody, this is DJ Jerry and DJ Selene, and here we are today to talk about Kiss. That's right, the hottest band in the land, Kiss. And um, Kiss is more than just a rock band. They actually are comic book characters. There's a lot of merchandising that has gone on. And uh, we help put, keep them in business because yes. we love to collect all these Kiss memorabilia items. Yes, we are big collectors and you're going to get to see part of the collection right now. And That's uh, right. Well, you know, the other day we were over at Barnes & Nobles looking at the uh, Comic-Con, San Diego Comic-Con exclusives. Uh, exclusives that had come out. And there were mostly Funkos. And then all of a sudden we noticed this. Uh, this. Wow. Kiss Love Gun action figures. And like I said, there's there's only a certain amount of these that are made. Mm -hmm. And uh, luckily, we were able to get one. The last few years, they've, they've just been, had no limits on them. So the first guy that would wait in line at four in the morning and come down, we'd buy all of them. We were able to come in the evening and still get one copy of this. That was lucky. Yeah, they only had six available, I believe from the beginning of the day. And anyway, in a little bit, you're gonna get to see what's inside the box. But before we show you the real, you know, the actual action figures, we would like to show a little more of our collection. What do we have, DJ Jerry? Okay, we got a lot of different categories of KISS collectibles. Mm -hmm. um, I think we should start out with some of the really cool autographs. Ooh. Um, one of the ones of the KISS group, are uh, you. You got the KISS group over there? Oh, I should start with this Yeah, one. let's start with the KISS group. And this is one that you actually purchased on eBay. How many guys' wives out there buy KISS autographed photos on eBay? I don't know, but I do. I'm a lucky I man. Do. What can I say? Yes. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's certified authentic, too. Because one thing about buying these things, you have to be really careful because or else your Aunt Trudy could be signing little autographs. Anyway, well, what else uh, you got? Yeah, well, anyway, it's hard to forge a Gene Simmons autograph. He has a very specific artistic style. And this is uh, Gene Simmons and some of the, the newer members, Tommy Thayer and Eric Singer. That's right. All right. And you want to show the other autograph that we got? Yeah, this one actually, I, I've got my ticket. I went to see Ace Freely. Unfortunately, he's not still in the band, Aww. but um, he's a space man, space ace. And he did, a, had, we saw him a couple times in concert. He had a great performance. This one's authentic because we bought it at the theater. So, you know, you can pretty much rest assured it's the real deal. Correct. All right. Yeah. Yep. All right. What else you got? All right, let's look at some more autographs. You were there when we met Gene Simmons at Barnes & Nobles. That's right. He was autographing the CD. And when we were there, we decided to sneak another thing for him to autograph. <laughs> and somehow you gave me this. And that's why we asked him to autograph. Right. That's the Midnight Special. Now, Kiss has been on the Midnight Special, but they're not on this particular one. I, they weren't selling anything that Kiss was on. So I decided to buy this from Barnes and Nobles and ask him to sign it. And, you know, he, he, he accused us of asking him to sign a bootleg. I don't know. He said, I'm not against <laughs> bootlegs. I'll sign it. You know, I'll make you happy. Whatever you want. You can't tell. I know. This. You yeah, can't I, tell I was Selene, no. I getting into a little uh, altercation <laughs> with him. That was not so, no, very good. So, but she's hard anyway. to say no to. So Jean uh, begrudgingly signed it for us. It yes. doesn't make a lot of sense to have him sign something he wasn't on. But, you know, it's cool nonetheless. Right. Anyway. <laughs> exactly. This is an album that had to be censored. It's called A-Hole. You know, for all that we have a family audience that watches us. Now, there's, do you know on, on this album, actually Bob Dylan and Gene Simmons did a duet. And it, it, let me see, I think it's called The Morning Light or something like that. Ooh, waiting for the, Keep waiting for the morning light. The Morning Light, that's right. And... Strangely enough, Bob Dylan, who was such a great lyric writer, he didn't write the lyrics to this. Uh, it was Gene Simmons who wrote the lyrics, but wow. Bob wrote the melody and Gene wrote the lyrics. They got together one day and they, you know, Gene is a big Bob Dylan fan. He invited him over his house. They, re uh, they wrote the song and then Gene recorded it on his own. 
And it's kind of strange. It's kind of like, you know, you're asking a man who's won a, a Nobel Peace Prize for, for his lyrics, you know, to write the melody of a song, you know, and it's kind of like asking Eddie Van Halen to come over and then you, you tell him to play the bass guitar when he's known for his great electric guitar solos. I don't know, but it, it's, it's very cool. And uh, we got, my son got uh, Gene to sign this one. Who could tell, you know, a 10 year old no? Yeah. Anyway, we'll show you some pictures of that signing uh, towards the end of the video. Yeah, or if we could insert it. Anyway, we're spending a lot of time. <laughs> yeah, that was an interesting little things. tidbit. So we're going to go through okay. some of this stuff quickly. We've got some books. This was the actual book that we had signed. It's called Me Incorporated. And you can see his very, very distinctive signature on that one. Did you just see him signing that one? Yeah, he signed this one right in front of us. Yes. That's the real, that's how you know it's real when they signed it right in front of you. And he didn't have any makeup on either, so you knew it was him. <laughs> All right, uh, here's, here's my very first Gene Simmons book. I bought this one at the Crenshaw Mall. I guess there weren't that many Gene Simmons fans at the Crenshaw Mall because I was able to buy the last copy of it. Check it out. Wow. All right. He's written a lot of books, by the way. I'm in um, Yeah. And this one is uh, Paul Stanley. That's right. Wow. My father bought this one for me. He said, oh, you're a big Kiss fan. I'm going to buy it for you. We were shopping out at the uh, Barnes & Nobles out at the Grove in Los Angeles. You can see Paul Stanley, this, this star man. That's his signature. Um, we, we got to meet him a couple times. I got a big coffee table book from him, which is out in the garage. We'll show that to you in another video. This one I got a couple months ago. He was outside. A lot of people showed up. Uh, he was on the end of the road tour and he was in Los Angeles. And this is his latest book. A lot of great advice. It's called backstage pass. The man, uh, you know, has in a wild rock band, but he's got some really down to earth, uh, tips about how to live. A meaningful and uh, purposeful existence. Check this one out. Wow. Anyway, that yeah. That's cool. Yeah. This is the back of it. Okay, what else do you have? We got a lot, a lot of cool stuff. I know. Stuff this here. could be like a two, three segment video. Well, we're going to go anyway. through it quickly because I know you're all waiting to see that unboxing of Love Gun action figures. This two I actually got at a garage sale. Can you believe I was with my son Dallas and we went to a garage sale and somebody was selling eight bucks each and I just love it. She is uh, not only great at finding kiss items, but she's great at getting wonderful deals too. Yes, especially yeah. when I'm with my lucky son Dallas. All right, what else we got? All right, I'm gonna show this one. This one we were at Kiss Golf. They have that at the Rio Hotel in Las Vegas. Uh, they had one there. I didn't even know they existed. There's only 75 of these that were actually created. This is number 37. It's a it's a numbered edition. And this actually I like better than the Love Gun stuff. I really do. Um, this is full-size action figures. Mm -hmm. And it has all the original members there. The Demon, the Star Child, the Catman, and the Spaceman. And if you look at it closely, you'll see the numbered edition right over here. You know, you want to take it out of the plastic, but this stuff was made, you know, to be collectors. So you have to keep it in the plastic, you know, so it stays valuable. You never know. We yes, could... and Kiss Golf is a great place. And maybe one of these days we'll show you a video when we filmed it at Kiss Golf, which was really cool. Yeah, Kiss and Golf. And what else we got? All right, Wait. I think we have another LA earthquake going on. Mm -hmm. uh, here's a couple Kiss Golfs. We, we got all four, but one of them came in damaged. You know, you can't have the boxes damaged, so we sent it back. But we've got three out of four of them to show you today. Uh, this is uh, the Cat Man right over here. That's the Space Man. And here is Paul Stanley, the Star Child. There he is, all right. Yeah, Barnes & Noble's still carrying them in other places. Yeah. Now, these were some birthday gifts. I remember my son came up to me and oh, said, where? he said, um, what are your favorite members of KISS? And I love cats. If you, if you follow me on Instagram, you're gonna know I love cats. Um, I'm always putting up cute cat pictures. I just, I always say, oh, it's enough, and then I find another one, so I keep posting them. <laughs> anyway, there's never, there's no end to cute cat pictures. This is um, Peter Chris, and he was an original, the original drummer. Uh, this, these actually have gone up in value a lot. That's a great gift to give to your dad on Father's Day, something that goes up in value and is really cool. Yeah. Anyway, these are the wacky bobblehead, wacky wobblers. We've got um, 
Ace Freely. It's really hard to tell what my favorite member is, really. I just say I like them all, but he couldn't afford all of them, so he just got these two. But anyway, <laughs> you know, I, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But they, these are the two guys that got thrown out of kiss. They were on sale. Uh, anyway. Uh, <laughs> What else you have? But you have you know, some more. Oh, I got this guy. I have a lot of Cole's Kiss stuff out in the garage. We're going to probably have to do another segment. Yes. Let uh, us know if you'd like to see us digging into the garage yeah. to get more stuff. This is uh, Peter Chris, and he's kind of from the Psycho Circus collection. Ooh. Yeah, he's kind of freaky there. Um, one of my students, you know, I'm a school teacher. Uh, I told the kids I was doing a garage sale, and they said, oh, can we sell some stuff? So I said, okay. And the kid brought me this kissed it. I said, I'm not going to sell it. I'm going to, I'll buy it off you. How much do you want for it? He, I think it was a buck or two. <laughs> he, he was real happy to get the money and I was happy to get this. I don't even think he knew who this guy was, but you know, I was like, okay, cool. I'll buy it. <laughs> anyway, um, that's the problem with us in garage sales. We buy more than then we, we sell. sell. All right. <laughs> I think we showed everything on this I side. I think we Let showed we it all. Uh, I got, uh, an, I went to Amoeba Records and I got uh, a really cool, uh, action figure here. This is from Kiss Online, Spawn.com. It's from the Creatures uh, collection, and it's Ace Freely. They do a really good job with the clothes and putting details on the on the outfits and the guitars and everything. Everything is so nicely done. It's really pretty. And here's the back. Yeah, this is real artistically. It's one of the, the nicest, most authentic Right. Uh, action figure I've seen. Very nice. And over here we've got uh, some more things. That my son won this uh, as prizes. You know, they play the carnival games at Kiss Golf. These are Kiss miniature skateboards. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got uh, Paul. What was that? No, that's not. That's just the whole Kiss one it has all the members. And this one is uh, Paul Stanley and uh, also all the members. Uh, from the Kiss solo albums. Mm -hmm. And anybody out there like uh, candy? <laughs> well, uh, Kiss has got, gotten into the candy business as well. I think it's on the bottom of the... That's right. There's so many things. I'm having a hard time keeping track. That's Check right. out this Paz dispenser. When we were young, we were so poor that we couldn't afford air. So we used to just suck on Pez, you know, that's it. These are Pez dispensers, uh, all four KISS members. I love this. Um, people kept buying this for me. I actually owned two of them. Uh, they didn't. They figured I didn't have it, and, and I said, great, I'll have you know more than one. So anyway, I'm not sure if the candy's still fresh, but it, it's really cool to look at these KISS Pez mm -hmm. dispensers. It's lovely to get candy out of someone's neck. Ugh. Anyway. <laughs> all right, keep going. <laughs> all right, are we almost ready to do the unboxing? These people are going, what is he going to do on unboxing? All right, all well, right. yeah. Well, before I do that, I'm going to show you, uh, these are these are really a preview of, this is what it's going to look like, but th this was the Kiss Love Gun action figures. They're the same size as the ones that are inside. This is a little bit of a spoiler for you. Um, but, you got this from Entertainment Earth. Yeah, enter Entertainment Earth. These are these are really cool. They're very small, but they're kind of like GI Joe action figures. You can bend them and move them, and you know pose them. So um, I don't even know why we really needed this other box set. It's so similar to this, but you know when we saw the box, everything was chained up. We couldn't really uh, decide or not. You know we couldn't really mm -hmm. look at it. We just said, oh, we better buy it. There's one left. So it was kind of an impulse buy. So isn't uh, everything an impulse buy? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if you here's so much you wouldn't get all this stuff. Yeah, but anyway, there's the so here uh, we go. we're gonna so un... taking the little seal off, taking the seal off there, and we're unboxing it here. Do you know how to do this thing? This is like that's oh. why I, we need some assistance on that. That's when I'm gonna come in. Handy. <laughs> um, I don't know. Oh, here we go. Love gun. Oh, here it comes, everybody. Bang. Woo it says bang right over here. Yeah, that's what you've been waiting for there. Bang, kiss. Very cool. Very similar to the stuff they already released, but it's in a different box, right? Pretty much, right? <laughs> it was a, but it's still cool. I mean, come on, you know? It's like, look at that. How does it compare, for instance? Let's compare this guy with the... Uh... Yeah, the Gene Simmons is noticeably different. I don't know if you got... Yeah, this one has a red cape, the other one and has a black cape. And he's got some blood dripping down his, he's got some blood dripping down his, uh, 
chest in the love gun one, you see that, I don't know if you can see that, but he's got like, you see the blood coming down out of his mouth? Now on that one, you don't really see any blood. All right, for that alone, I think it's worth <laughs> it. See, it there's is, some differences here. Yeah, Compare and look contrast. very carefully. I, I like this a lot, it's really pretty. You think we should keep it? Oh yeah, it's we're keeping keeper. it. It's a keeper, people. <laughs> <laughs> one day, you know, they'll, 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 they'll put it in the Smithsonian or something. This was DJ and Jerry and Selene's uh, Yes, and Comic -Con one last exclusive. thing I'd like to talk about that we are not showing today is the records. We have picture disc of all KISS members and it's hang, hanging up on our studio. And I'm not bringing it down today. If you'd like to see that, please comment so we can, you know, feel like we should get it out the wall and show it to you all the picture discs with the, their signatures, which is really cool. And we got it at Kiss Golf, so we know that's legit. Yeah, we just went down to Kiss Golf and we just bought something on their wall and just took and it, it home with us. it was pretty expensive, let me tell you. Yeah. That was not a cheap purchase. But hey, you know what I mean? It's the real deal because uh, the lady who owns it actually helps distribute Gene Simmons, his uh, signature bases, those Axe bases. So it, it was the real deal. What can you do? You know, yeah, it's one of a kind. Once you see it, you gotta have it, and it's really cool. So if you like to see it, comment, subscribe, mm. and there's a lot more stuff. So for today, this is it, because it's already 16 minutes, 23 <laughs> seconds. That's way longer than we thought we we're gonna be. So, hey, give us some love. Give some love to DJ Jerry, and this is DJ Selene signing out. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. See you next time. Keep, Keep on, on rocking. rocking.